uh, uh, hi everyone welcome to this session so today we will solve this circuit actually i solved this circuit previously uh, you can see my playlist but there i made a mistake okay so uh, so, so we will analyze uh, this uh, like previous mistake okay basically this is a very tricky question okay Uh, so read the question part uh, for the below uh, for the below circuit the below information is given a current source so this is the current source okay a current source uh, is connected to node a so this is the this is our a node uh, which a network uh, comprising of uh, r1 rc1 and r2 uh, choose the poles and zero location for the below circuit okay so you have to find uh, what is the poles and zero location so basically uh, here uh, output is not given like output node is not given so previously uh, i i thought that there is uh, only one node that we can take the output like the a node okay but uh, uh, okay okay first solve it uh, then talk about the previous mistake uh, so basically uh, we can see that uh, we know that to find the zero uh, let okay to find the pole okay what we do uh, we do like all the uh, like here if we take the output from here so there will be let's say v out over i i in okay so there will be a transfer function so this of this is of s okay so if we take uh, take the output from here so the transfer function like we know how to find the pole and zero intuitively okay so you can write the transfer function uh, and then uh, from uh, from transfer function equation uh, like polynomial so you, you can find the poles and zero so we will try here uh, intuitive method okay so we know that uh, to find pole uh, we do uh, what we do uh, we do uh, deactivate the input okay so for uh, for current source we if we deactivate the current source it will be a open circuit right so there will be this right so this is r2 this is r1 this is c1 and find the equivalent capacitance and equivalent resistance okay so here equivalent capacitance is nothing but nothing but uh, c equivalent is nothing but c1 and r equivalent is nothing but r1 plus r2 right because they are in series okay so what will be our pole pole will be at minus 1 over r1 uh, r1 plus r2 into c1 right so uh, this way we can find the zero and like uh, this way we can find the pole but what about zero uh, let 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 if we take the output from here so what will be the zero and for zero we do what we do we do v out equals zero volts right we know that so if we make this ground this is our v out okay we are taking the output as the uh, from this node so if if we like if our v out is zero so here is ground and here is also ground so r2 is out of picture right so this is r2 is dead element okay uh, so r2 is dead so only uh, r1 and c1 is present for the zero right like equivalent resistance is c1 and equivalent uh, equivalent resistance is r1 and equivalent capacitance is c1 so what will be our uh, zero zero location so this will be as uh, z equals to minus on by r on c1 okay so this will be our answer one but this is not correct okay this is the uh, correct answer because if we take output from here okay if we take output from here you can see that the pole location will be same okay pole location pole location will be pole location will be at the same like let this is p1 so our p2 will be equal to p1 okay previous one as if we take output from here the equivalent capacitance is c1 and equivalent resistance is again r1 plus uh, r1 plus r2 okay so pole location will be same but if we take output from here and we know that uh, for the find zero the output is let's see the here is v out output is zero so uh, and we are taking voltage output so this node will be grounded 
so if this is grounded and this is grounded so capacitor is out of the picture so this will be like this short circuited so there is no capacitor present so if there is no capacitor present there will be not a zero right because if like capacitor value is zero so zero value will be at infinity so infinity means there is no zero so now we can see the uh, options so uh, according to me uh, the answer will be this c c option because we can find the pole if we take output from here, output from here or output from here the pole location will be same this but the zero location cannot be determined due to the insufficient information what is the insufficient information because output node is not given here okay so this is our insufficient information so according to me our option c is the correct answer okay so this will not be the answer okay and uh, uh, why we like according to me why uh, option b is not correct because here the option is since the node terminal at which output is taken is not given poles and zero both cannot be determined but this is not correct because if we take output from here or output output from here pole location will be same and it is can it can be determined and this will be same so this option also is not correct okay so according to me uh, this will be the correct answer okay so you can uh, uh, you can uh, give your valuable feedback and uh, thanks for the uh, thanks for this uh, thanks for watching this video okay thank you